Happy Wednesday, let's go. Let's take our arms to the back and to the front. And then just take those feet apart, reach it up and into your squat. Nice and big. Good. Start taking those squats a little lower. Why out those arms? So take them wide. When you do, kind of pull your abs in. Awesome. And we're going into reverse lunge. Taking one leg back, then the other, and shifting your weight to the back. Taking a rotation now over that front leg. And we're going into lateral lunges. So reaching to the side, you wanna be intentional with these, pushing your butt to the back. Now let's take it into curtsy lunges. We have full body work today. Use my count instead of the timer. Ooh, that's always frightening, right? <laughs> Hopefully I stay on track with counting. And we're going into single leg reach. So pull those abs in, drop the shoulders, reach your right hand towards your left foot or same hand as moving leg if you wanna think about it that way. We do that because it helps Draw in our core more. It helps our hips and the back not to rotate open. And the bonus is it's more work for our brain, which I need. So you just have to do it with me. All right, one more each leg. And then we're going in to our inchworms. So good forward fold, walk it all the way out. Hit your knees for your first push up, keeping your core tight and then a dragonfly stretch. And depending on your level, you can stay knees for all those push ups or transition to your toes for the next one. We're going again. I like to be intentional with that forward fold in the second or two there, letting my back warm up. All right, I'm gonna do two more. In our warm up, we always want to be increasing our range of motion with every move. So it doesn't have to be a big change, but like on my forward fold, well, see that my hands are maybe getting closer to the ground, getting a deeper stretch in my back. Maybe my chest is getting lower on the push up. And then you're gonna take a front back walk Touch the ground on that one. So walking front, a few steps, going back. Start putting some energy in those legs. So quicken your pace. And we're gonna move it into our cardio. So I'm going to run in a circle. You can run front and back. You can run down the street, even in the light rain. Then your feet are gonna be wet. We're going one minute. So if you're running in a circle, then this is a great time to turn around and go the other way.
We've got 10 seconds to finish this one up. All right, I wanna switch it to karaoke. So crossing it over and back, hit a few of these crossovers. Ooh, I said that about light rain. I'm wondering. <laughs> it started raining really hard just now. So hopefully you didn't get caught in it if you went outside. That's at my house. All right, and walk it out, inhale, exhale. So we're actually gonna start on our back today. Um, I wanna get a good warm up of those hips and our lower back. So have your weights close by, but we're gonna start with a bridge that's similar to the bridge we do in yoga what is one of the bridges we do in yoga, where we take our arms overhead and then we're gonna bring them right back down. All right, so on your back, no weight. No weights on this first one, just have them close by for our next exercise. All right, let's go. So lifting up, squeezing the glutes, bringing it down, going again. So our focus here, as we start to lift, we tighten up in the glutes right there at the butt cheeks. And then we try to shift our weight more to our shoulders. Try to lift those hips a little higher, pull your abs in, keep going. You can already feel those muscles working. So the thing with the back and the back side, which we're gonna do some work with today is that it needs a really good warm up. So these are not only um, strengthening our glutes, but they're also starting to warm up that area even more. We're doing two more. If you notice that you feel more fatigue in your legs than in your glutes, then that is an area that you need to put some brain power in for all of the rest of our bridge work because we want it to be about the butt more than the thighs. Okay, grab your weight. So we're gonna bridge up, hold our bridge and just go into a chest fly. So our arms are gonna open and close, let's go. Keep it good. Now I'm gonna do eight more. My count 16, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let your back rest put those weights on your thighs if we're going to do bridge work with the weights on our thighs or you can do them without all right so don't don't lift your arms overhead <laughs> ready let's go so squeeze the glutes we just need a light hold on the weights with your hands so they don't fall when you come down you don't rest you can tap the ground, but as soon as you tap it, you're starting to lift again. Don't just shift your weight all the way there and stay there. Good. Four to go. One, nice job. All right, grab your weights again. We're gonna transition to legs on imaginary chair, arms up for chest press. So before you start, pull those abs in, slight pelvic tilt, which means your hips just kind of roll under a little bit. Palms face the ceiling and let's go. Down and up with the arms. Now don't lose that core connection if you start arching the back. You gotta tighten up the abs so that doesn't happen. 
if you keep your legs at that 90 degree angle, you're gonna get the most work out of your core. Don't let your, we don't wanna let our heels drop. Looks good. Last one. Feet down, waist down. Now just put your hands behind your head, but we're not gonna yank on our head at all. We're just gonna lift and bring the knee toward the nose and the upper body up. So you're doing a little crunching, but again, no pulling on the neck. Let's go. You're doing great. So this is our forward flexion. Four more. Good, nice work. All right, grab those weights again. So I'm gonna do one chest press and one chest fly. I'm gonna do it with a leg lift. So my legs are gonna go down and up. If your back is bothering you, either choose the chair or the bridge motion. All right, ready, here we go. So down and up, and then open and close. You can feel that you need to keep those abs in so you don't arch the back. Good, open and close. Pull strong, push strong, wide bear hug. Good. Looking good. So we have four more, which I'm doing these for 12, but it's like a one, this is one. So each exercise makes one. So this is two, starting three, and four. Oh, nice. Put those weights down. We're gonna do some penguins. So just reach your finger, palms face down, not too much tension in the shoulders and reach for one heel and then the other, go. If you feel a lot of strain in your neck, take your hand behind the head, stay on one side, and then mm, do about six on each side. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Good, that is for our lateral flexion. Okay, we're gonna take those weights. We're gonna do our rocking motion to a stand. So like a reverse burpee, except no jump. And use the weights as a lever. It'll actually help you. It'll be good on the strength, but it'll help you transition your weight to your feet. Good, so hold them out in front of you, rock. Pull them in front and stand up. Now, an option is that you can take one leg underneath you and then stand up. It'll still be good strength work. Good, I want you to keep going. We're gonna do about eight of these. Not sure how many you've done. This is my number four. I'll show that option with the leg again. One leg under and standing up. You're doing great. And one more. And you can stay standing. Or that was my eight. 
I guess your count could be different, but you're probably pretty good. So taking a short break and then we're gonna move on. This next step, we're gonna start, if you have a heavier weight, you might want it for some of your exercises. So we're gonna start with the single arm swing, alternating arms. So it means we're gonna be right here and right here. All right, ready for it? Remember these are from the back side, nice and powerful. Abs are in, let's go. Eight to go. Two more. Nice. All right, we're gonna do our around the world. So put your feet together. You're just gonna be taking this weight around, staying tight, let's go. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your shoulders dropped, stand up. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. If you do, make sure it doesn't land on your toe. Get your toes out of the way. All right, go the other way, let's go. Last one, good. Yeah, I was just wanted to show you what not to do at home, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, so right hand, just holding the weight. My right leg is gonna be my moving leg and I'm gonna do that single leg reach like we did in the warm up, except staying on one side. Let's go, so down and up. Pulling those abs in, good. You want your body to be a seesaw. So don't let that back leg come down too quick. Try not to let the back hip rotate open. Good, does it great? We're gonna do two more on that leg. Abs are in. And then switch. Good, looks good. You know, I do personal training in this space too. And uh, sometimes I'll have a client who's like, oh, I don't wanna mess your floors up. I'm like, really? <laughs> You're just not looking at them very close because they are pretty messed up, which is totally fine with me. All right, that was your last one. Those look good. Now we're gonna go into a two arm swing. So hopefully your back is more warmed up. And we're just doing Russian style, so just about shoulder height or lower. Let's go. It's not about where your arms get to, it's just about the natural swing. That looks good. Legs are bent. We don't wanna look at our feet. Good, pose it great. And last one, nice work. Okay, we're gonna take this weight and halo it with a squat. So uh, hold your, if you're holding a regular weight, just hold it probably end to end. So it's gonna halo squat. Let's go. Now this is another anti-rotation move. So pull your abs in. the halo you could squeeze your glutes too make a good base you don't want that body moving all around you want it to resist the force is it good last one Nice job. Okay, we're just gonna repeat that set. So we started with the single arm swing. Um, this time we're gonna stay on one arm for eight. 
and then switch to the other arm for eight. Last time we alternated. All right, ready for it? Here we go. Working that back side, strengthening your back. Switch arms, keep going. All right, done with that. Going to around the world, ready, go. I'll try to hold on this time. <laughs> Okay, switch, go. Squeeze your glutes tight. Is it good? Awesome. Going into a two arm swing, uh, double, just a regular swing. This time we're gonna take it American style if you're okay with that. So you'll squeeze your glutes as you drive up and pull those abs in. Let it float overhead. Let's go. Tighten up that lower body as you come up. Those are great. Eight to go. Last one, Woo. nice, single leg reach. So hold the weight in the right arm, lift the right leg back, let's go. Abs in. Looks good, nice balance. We'll switch legs. Abs in. These are great. My chiropractor's favorite, one of his favorite exercises. So good for us. Two more. And done with that one. Good. Okay. So we're kind of mixing it up a little bit. We're going to go into a um, single arm swing, but I'm going to do it like a curtsy lunge. So I'm going to get this leg out of the way, this one out of the way. All right, make sure I don't step on my weight. All right, let's go. So swinging, switching. Take your lunge. If you are, if you go bowling, you've got this down. If you ever lived in the Midwest, you probably are a good bowler. That's what I learned. In my five years there, I learned a few other things. Let's do one more, each leg. Woo! All right, so still using similar, uh, but we're gonna do the sumo pass behind the legs and then we're gonna add the halo with it. So let's do a few of just Passing, it's not really a sumo, it's just a wide squat. So just pass behind the knee. Oh, I was just gonna do these at first, not adding this thing yet. So just a few pass behind the knees. You only change hands behind the knee and keep that flow of changing hands behind the knee and add your halo. So pass behind the knee. This other hand just kind of supports or it doesn't even have to, depending on how heavy your weight is. You don't have to grab it with the other hand. 
But if you only change hands behind the knee, you'll have each side balanced. Good, you're doing great. Woo! Pull those abs in when you bring it up. Anti-rotation on the halo still. I'm gonna do one more each side. Nice. Now, because it feels good, one more around the world. Let's go. Squeeze those glutes. We're gonna switch directions, go. Okay, we're gonna do a deadlift move with the weight behind, or weights. You can hold both or one, but I want your, if you're holding both, put them you know, pretty close together so that you have your arms and more of this like knot out here at your side. I need it behind you. Now, soften up those knees and you're just gonna go forward fold, right back up. Forward fold, back up, good. You got it. This may actually feel good to you on your back. Now keep going, but when you get to that forward fold, bend those knees a little bit and push up. So forward fold, bend the knees extra, keeping your weight on your heels, not with dropping the shoulders, just with bending the knees, pulling the abs in. Good. So you fold, you bend, staying flat. You don't drop your shoulders any extra, you just bend the knees. Good, that's awesome, we have two more. Abs are in, and last one, good. Okay. Weight down, we're gonna do uh, that get down, get up. I'm gonna fold my mat because it feels better on my knees. So we're gonna go down, whoop, down, up, up. And I'm gonna stay on my right leg for four and then switch to the left leg. All right, so let's go. So right leg is going down, right leg's leading up. And it's okay, like maybe you're like, I have to lean a little bit and get my hip out there. That's okay, it's a rotation. I mean, you work to stay steady, but having to swing the hip is okay. That's not bad, that's good on the hip rotator. So I've done four, I'm gonna switch to the left. Good. You're doing great. Awesome. Okay, so we did four each side. We're gonna do another set, but we're gonna hold a weight. And then every time you stand, if you feel okay, you can your back and everything, you can hold, take the weight overhead. If you need to keep it in at your chest, you can keep it in at your chest. So we're going back to the right leg, but we're gonna do six instead of four. Let's go. So right leg, and then as I stand, I'm gonna lift, pulling it down again. You'll feel the core work. I lift as I stand, or you can just lift it after you stand if you need that for your back. You'll get a harder drive in the core if you can lift as you stand, but you know, levels, goals. Okay, so that was six. I'm gonna go to my left leg. You're doing great. Whew, that's so good. Oh, <laughs> everything is going wrong on the day that I decide to record. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Things go wrong all the time and everything is not going wrong. That was a dramatic statement. <sighs> I got one more because I took time to trip on my mat. Whew, nice job. 
weight down. Okay, I just want you to take some open and close right here. Kind of stretch out your back. Nice. And then we're going to go to our back on the mat. It'll feel good. And we're going to do, so you'll need your waist. We do some skull crushers, some glutes and core. We're gonna start on our back if in a bridge. If your back is too tired, because we just did a lot for it. If it's too tired, keep your hips on the ground. You can go right here. We're going straight or bend and straighten. I'm gonna do it in a bridge. All right, so before you start, if you're going to your bridge, lift it up, squeeze your glutes, tighten up your thighs, and then go. Bend and straighten. You got it. So we're doing 16, that's eight for my count. Make sure you still got those hips lifted. Squeeze tight. Two more. And last one. Whew. Bring it down. Good. All right, we're gonna do a super crunch where our leg goes out and we rotate. And then we do the other side, and then we do a fold in. Ready, let's go. So it's single with a rotation, and then double crunch, folding in. So the rotation means that my elbow comes over, and I'm also taking my knee out when I do that move on this set. We didn't on the other set, we are on this one. We never want to yank on our neck. Two more. Last one. Oh, nice work. One weight, just one. So we're gonna do the skull crusher, except maybe a shoulder crusher, face crusher. So your palm faces forward, the top of the end of that weight is gonna come to the opposite shoulder. So just one weight. Keep your hips on the ground. Palm faces your knees. Opposite hand touches out. Let's go. Opposite shoulder straight up. So my one hand has two purposes. The first is that they've proven that if you touch the muscle that you're working, you will recruit more muscle fibers, more strength to that area. So your brain gets involved by the touch of the hand. So yeah, why not? The other reason is because I don't want your shoulder joint to move. I don't want my shoulder joint to move. I only want the bend and straighten. That will isolate the tricep. Hopefully you're feeling it because we have about three more. Should be reaching a fatigue. Two more. Last. One, good, switch it out. All right, ready, let's go. So it's 16 of these. Good, good stability, full range of motion. I know, 16 of them takes a while. Woo! 
Two more. Oh, nice. Good job. Weight down. And uh, we're going to pull those legs up on imaginary chair, arms up, and do a set of dead bugs. So I had my knees a little bit in, I noticed. I want to put them straight at 90 degree angle, pull my abs in so I feel it right now. I'm just going to drop a heel, drop a heel. There you go. Good. Not dropping my foot towards my butt, keeping the 90 degree angle because the other is too easy. Keep your abs in. Now, if you want to, you can take the opposite arm back, but then it just goes straight back to the ceiling. Good. You got it. We're doing two more. And last one. Okay, grab your weights. One more set of skull crushers. Both weights. Legs up. So they can stay on that chair. They can be in a bridge. We're doing both arms. Down and up. Let's go. Right here. No movement at the shoulders. Awesome. Woo. Twelve of these. So we have two more. And last one. Oh. Good work. Put the weights down. Give me a mummy sit up. We're just going to do eight of them. Legs out long, feet flexed, arms toward the ceiling. They don't go overhead. You just roll from there. That's why they're called a mummy. And then they go right back to the ceiling. We're just doing eight because then we're going to get our weights to give. Good. Rolling up, rolling down, pulling the abs in. You got it. Remember, the arms do not go overhead. They just point to the ceiling unless you really need the help. And then, of course, you can. All right. I'm scooting myself off my mat. Okay. Grab your weights. Hold them in close. We're gonna do a sit up. When we get there to our seated position, we're gonna do a bicep curl. So let's bring it up. Now take them right here, hit a bicep curl, leave your weights here, and give me a sit up. Bring them up, up and down, good. If you can, don't rest them on the ground. If you need to rest them on the ground, go for it. Those are great. Woo. Oh, we're going four more. Four. Woo. Three. And one. Woo. Okay, you can stay down. Now, I'm honestly going to do one more hammer curl standing, but I want to do a few stretches before we get there. It'll just be standing, so it won't really be anything on our legs, so it's okay to stretch our legs right here. Let's take that hamstring stretch, one leg up, pulling in nice and close, and then switching. I could have just made us get up and down, you know, that wouldn't have been a big deal, but we needed to let our biceps rest for a sec. So this time they get to rest with stretching. Yay! How about the number four stretch? Holding my left thigh, crossing my right ankle over. You could start with your foot on the ground, letting the knee fall. And then if you're able, pull that thigh in nice and close. 
Roll towards your left hip just a little bit. Push away right elbow on right thigh. Now keeping them crossed, take both knees over to the right side and look over your left shoulder. All right, let's switch it out. So we're gonna extend the right leg out, left leg up for that hamstring stretch. Oh, actually we did do that. Yeah, we did, because we were holding on. So right, we'll stretch, switch legs, stretch the right hamstring again. And then let's cross, hold on to the right, cross the left ankle over, pull in nice and close, roll slightly to the right hip. Push away left elbow on the left thigh. That really gets the deep gluteal stretch. Now we're gonna keep them crossed, let both of them fall to the left and look over your right shoulder. If it's too much on your back, do the same stretch, but uncross your legs. Oh yeah, that feels good. That's why I kept stayed there so long. <laughs> All right, rock a few and just come on up to your feet. We got to do that one set of hammer curls. So we're going to have 16 hammer curls passing in the middle. Ready for it? Here we go. One, two, three. Good. Nice full range of motion. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Woo! Nice work. Weight down. Take a big inhale, grab a wrist, and pull over to the side. Uh, a little deeper before you end it and do the other inhale exhale pull straight to the side not front or back good and if you feel okay we're going to go forward fold if you feel dizzy don't do this move right now <laughs> let your back be heavy and we're going to sway a little right and left letting the back just drop and come on back up again this time, I want you to grab a thumb. We're not back bending. We're just pulling back with our arms. So take your arms like somebody's trying to grab them and pull back. So go ahead and squeeze your glutes so it's not a back bend. And then you can either put your hands on your hips, fingers pointing back, pull the elbows together, or if you're able, grab those hands, clasp them. Let's try that forward fold with them clasped. That may or may not work for you. It's a pretty big stretch. It's okay if you undo. All right, let's all undo and take a little sway right and left again. Bring it all the way up. When you get to the top, we're gonna do a tricep stretch each side. So I like to push. You can pull, but not on your elbow joint. So. Either one, inhale on the other arm, exhale. And then this hand, it can be like walking down your back. That'll give you more of a stretch. And then release. We did a lot of swings. We finished with some biceps, so let's pull back. I'm double jointed, so I know it looks funky. Some of you are too. <laughs> um, I like to grab my thumb. That is just because it needs stretching from like the texting and typing switch, but you really wanna be getting that fascia stretched out right here and the bicep stretched. All right, guys, let's do one more inhale and exhale. Nice job, 